Me, 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 It's all about you. So, how do you get a Bro, you. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ia Solo Thoughts. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Kevin Samuels, Should Women Share Men? Hey, that title sounds very, very debatable right there. But we're going to see what he's talking about in this one. And make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe for more reaction videos like this one. What's up, everybody? We back with another Kevin Samuels reaction, man. I'm not going to make this intro as long as I usually do. So, we're going to jump straight into this reaction video. Let's get it. Okay, ma'am, how are you doing down at the bottom? Um, I'm doing? good, Kevin. How are you? Good. How old are you? I'm 27. 27. Ma'am, other lady just came in. How old are you? I'm 38. 38. So, you're 28, 27, 38. So, 27 year old. Um, what do you think about the concept of sharing a man? Be honest. Um, I don't. I do not agree to that at all. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Thirty-eight. What do you think about it? Yeah, I don't agree to it. All right. So we're going to start thirty-eight first. Do, do, do you have any children? Yes, I do. Twenty-seven. Do you have any kids? I have two kids. Okay. Thirty-eight. Um, how many kids? One, two, three, four, one. Two. Okay, uh, how many fathers? One, two. My um, I'm gonna just say this. Me personally, I would not agree to share somebody. That's not how I get down. But you know, everybody got their own opinion, and we living in a different time where you got open relationships and all that. But I'm not into that. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Are y'all into them? Open relationships, sharing relationships, any of that? Drop it in the comment section. Six husband, one. So why don't you? What, what do you disagree? Well, why don't you agree? I, what I don't want is, I was able to get married, and it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. You know, we both went our separate ways. We were married for about fifteen years, so it was it was okay. Okay. Uh, but what I wouldn't want is to accept someone that I have to share. Because I would not want to give that example to my my daughter, okay. just to avoid all of that in the future. Okay, you have two kids. That's real. Yes. You have a you have a son too, or just two daughters. I have my son is twelve and my daughter is nineteen. So think about the example you'd be giving to your son that he should accept a woman with two kids. For for my son, if he has to, if that's his choice, where no 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 no. Now see, see, I want you to understand how differently when you said you don't want to set a bad example for your daughter. But I'm saying, what about your son? And you went to his choice. I, I mean, before he makes his choice, we talk about the example. These ads are oh my gosh, man! Why could y'all wait to the end? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want him. Yeah, I wouldn't want him to to be with anybody that has kids for both of them. Okay, so I think you ladies need to start putting what your son sees ahead of what your daughter does. Because and, this, uh, here's my and here's let me tell you why. Because if you don't like the kind and caliber of man that's in the world, you got to create a better man. Mm. And that's exactly what I agree. One thousand percent. Okay. I agree with that. But but I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge you though. You're divorced. Um, just so we know, who filed for divorce? I did. Okay. Um, you want to share what grounds it was on? Um, I I didn't I didn't feel that the uh, there was like a mutual work towards the relationship. The re irreconcilable differences. Yeah, basic. Reagan fucked the world when he made no for a divorce because that that means nothing to us as men. But what but what we do know is. Right now, and I'm coming to you, ma'am, in a second. At 38, you've already been married. Mm -hmm. You've got two kids. Man, you've got as high as you can, as, as, as any woman can get, and that wasn't good enough. So a man that you would get with has to share you with one, two kids and an ex-husband. Mm -hmm. One man has to share one woman with three people. Make that math work. Mm. If you put it like that, you're right. But I, I, I have my, my 
realistic expectations. Wow, he just kind of opened my mind up. <laughs> See, that's why I like reactions to his videos, because this man, he always teaching something. Like, that just opened my mind up, man. Like, he's, he's basically saying, like, if you wouldn't be open to being with somebody with kids, well, if you will be open to being with somebody with kids, why wouldn't you be open to having multiple being shared in a relationship? I think that's what he's getting at, but I don't know, y'all. Somebody educate me because that's what it seems like he's he's trying to connect the dots to. Of the person that I will end up, and I'm not going to shoot like everybody else that thinks, "Oh my God, I I need the top tier." That's not going to happen. I know my reality. And if I don't well, have it doesn't matter if you want top tier or not. But man, even an average good decent man, mm -hmm. he still he doesn't deserve any less than a high value man. I'm sorry. Even an average decent run of the mill man doesn't deserve less respect. When did men back in the day who were average middle class run of the mill have to share their wife with four people or three people? Back I in the day. Back in the day, 100 years ago, 50, 80 years ago, you got married and your wife had your kids. Mm, that's facts. And any kid in the house, you don't, anything that you, anything your wife was doing, that was part of your family. So she was investing in your legacy. Mm. Right now, a man would be coming into your life and he's splitting the time with your kids, co-parenting with another man. And do you work? Yes. And a job. Well, so one kid. Ladies, I just need you to think I'm about the man. Think about the man. If I'm your man, how much of your time do I actually get? In all honesty, I can only give you, from the beginning, I'm going to let you know about 70%. So that means I can go get the 30 someplace else or just don't get it? And if you decide and that's what you want to go for, then we're not going to work out. That's just plain and simple. <laughs> so you can come to the table with 70% of your time, but I got to do 100% of my time. For me, if you have kids, if you have a job, if you have yeah, hobby, yeah, but, okay, if you have all of that, have kids. most men don't have kids. So I just want to do the math, man, man, I just want to stick to the math. Math is, math is logic. You can come to the table and give me 70% of your time at best. But I got to give you 100% of my commitment. Why would I, why is that a good deal for me? Wow. Make the business make it's, sense. It's a good deal if you don't have kids. If you don't have kids, it's a bad deal. And you should run if you don't have kids. Oh my God. This my dude is opening up my mind. It's crazy. Most men don't have kids. Most guys don't. What? What is the statistic on there? Or what did you say? 51 percent black men in particular, 51% of black men are single and childless. 61% of them are the class. That's why I talked wow. about the future earlier. See, That's he got the stats right there, bro. Different. I did not know that. A small percentage of the men have always made a large percentage of the men. One sixteenth, one in every 16 people shares Genghis Khan's DNA. This is why I don't understand from a historical and sociological wow. standpoint, women have always point with shared it. the best men. And if you want a man that can meet your standard, man, do you think he can meet another woman's standard? Dang, they will put an ad right there. It was just getting good, too. Yeah, he probably can. Okay. Do you think your standards are below average or above? My standard, I would say realistically, are below. Below? Below. Okay. Well, all right, ma'am, 27, you said you don't agree. I'm coming back to you. Thank you. 27, why don't you, you have one kid or two? Two. The digitized lady. Two kids? Yes, two fathers? kids. One. How many fathers? Were you married or not? No, not married. Okay, so why don't you, why do you disagree? Go ahead. Um, I understand your point of view, where you're coming from, where if any man I was to be with, he is sharing me and the two kids and the father. But at the same time, like, if the father is not in a picture or doing what he's supposed to do, um, how is that still 
Watch, he about to flame it, bro. I can feel it. He always coming up with something. Look at it. <laughs> Looking at his laptop. He about to he about to come up with something. Watch. Sharing. Take a little drink. <laughs> uh oh. Well, here we go. Um you, you you still haven't told me what you disagree with the notion of sharing a man. I'll answer your question, but why do you disagree with sharing time? Sharing your man with um, your man. I just feel like it's a, it's a waste of time because I, mean, I already have two kids, so if I do decide to be with a man, if I am putting 100% of my time into you, I want the same thing back. Dang, she breaking up bad. I would not want to share that. You can't put 100% of your time man. Man, man, man. You're, you have something's wrong with your connection. But as a woman with children, you can't put 100% of your time into man. Mm. You mean 100% of the time you have left? Yes. That's true. Because if you got okay. kids. So again, do you have a job? Put 100%. Yes. Okay. Um, you have two children and a full time job and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and an ex. I mean, ladies, do y'all not see the math from the men's standpoint? If you were a man, what would you be thinking right now? That a woman with kids and a job and an ex, and I got I only get a certain amount of time, but I got to give you 100% of my commitment. Mm. So hey, he, he got a point though. Like, if you a man and you single, and you dealing with a woman and she got kids she's technically not giving you a hundred percent because she has kids she has to give some of her time to her kids some of her time to her job some of her time to the ex by communicating and you know co-parenting and stuff like that so technically listening to this video she's not realistically giving a hundred percent as the man would that's single with no kids. That all makes sense. I hope that makes sense for y'all. Are you saying that if men have to share, if we have kids or, you know, that we should be okay with sharing a man? Is that what Say you're again? saying? Say again? So basically, like, if we expect a man to be okay with us or be okay with them sharing us, our baby fathers and our kids, we should be okay. Look at his face, bro. Women, He's like, what? is what you're saying. I'm saying you're not a virgin. You are, I'm, if you come, if, if in this situation with kids, you've already been shared. Yeah. You come through the door with commitments. I was just so, talking about. I was actually talking about women with no kids, but women with kids, you got even less of a claim on a man's time. Yeah. That's why, that's why we kind of got here with the woman that had the kids. I'm like, whoa. But I want you guys to understand how, it, the way that I originally said it was women over 35 and because your sexual marketplace value is lower just because of age and things like that. But the more things you put on it, the lower the value becomes. But that woman came through the door with two kids by two different men talking like she's a nine or mm. a 10. And she's actually like a two or three. Dang. On the sexual marketplace totem pole. That's crazy. And she talking, about, and that's what men are thinking. That's why men are like, what are y'all talking about? But what it goes to show is the value women put on a man. Y'all, whether you say it or not, you put your value above ours. Heck that's why yeah, you they do. Expect us to hey, I'm not being biased. <laughs> My man. And your job. And everything <laughs> I'm not being biased, though. It's the truth. Okay, Miss Twenty Seven Year Old. Um, you asked me about men and kids. Go ahead and ask the question again. You broke up a little bit. Missing words. Dang, her connection. Okay, bad, said, man, man. The question. Are you want me to answer something. the question? Oop, oop. You got to get close to the window. You're breaking up. Everybody else is in frame. You're, you're, you look like a puzzle. <laughs> so, I need, okay. So, what is the objection? 38. What's the objection? I get it that you've been married, you've got two kids, but 
practically, you know you're, you're a middle-aged woman with two kids. Why do you still believe you should get the same level of commitment and value as you did when you were a young childless woman? Mm. Um, honestly, I just feel that in my mind, I, I already have it made up. I already had that marriage experience, the family life. I've had it. Like you said, I already hit the top, my peak. So by me thinking in that sense, which is true, um, either I'm going to take what I want or what I need or what I, I feel that I can put up with or I'm not. I already experienced it. And if I can get um, anything that for me is acceptable, because I'm not going to be sharing with it, I'm, extra he's not going to be sharing with me. <laughs> he's not gonna Let me tell you with your kids. I've been a, I've one. been I've been a stepfather with one exactly. Man, so I, I, one period. He's sharing it, you with us. He's sharing with your. He's sharing you with a, your kid and a job. So yes. I need. So let me ask you a question. Bro, this is like the third ad already, man. God dang. What prof you expect to have continual raising value as you age? No, no, no. It's going to lower. When? But expectation is already there. If I have to share with anybody, I'm not doing it. I Like you said, I'd rather buy a dog and I'd rather be alone. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna but, but I need you. But I need you to understand what that what, what what you're really doing when you say that. It sounds empowering, but it's really fucked up. <laughs> Let me tell you why. He's because <laughs> like your him. son is going to make sure he has to. He's going to live his life to be around you because you will get old. Yeah. That will limit your child. Your daughter will also feel. Your children are going to feel that mom needs us near because she's a single woman. And it's going to impact their relationships. Mm. I know no. what I speak of. Very oh, well. yeah, Listen. he got a point. Daughters. He got a point because once you get, you know, as life hits you, when you get older, you know, you need somebody to take care of you. And if she's still single, Let's say they married or something. They gonna have to give some of their time or like half of their time towards caring to their mother because she's an older age and she's single. She by herself. So it all makes sense. It all makes sense. I speak about mother daughter stuff all the time. It sounds cool when you're 38, but when you're 58, and your son and your daughter are trying to get out and become adults on their own, they got a factory in mama. Mm. Is that fair? No, it's not, which they're not being raised in that way. Ma'am, it does they're, they're human. It's it doesn't matter how you think they're being raised. Yeah, because you're gonna and, get in my culture, regardless, that happens. Regardless, in my culture it happens. Right? What culture is that? I'm Latina, I'm Mexican. Well, in your culture, you're also supposed to stay in your marriage. <laughs> if the man is willing to provide, if he's not a, a hardworking, if he's not providing, if he's not putting in work, then, then you shouldn't have married him. People change over the years, so you get one person. This is bullshit. I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, no. Hey, no, that that's true though. She she got a point though. I'm I'm disagreeing with Kevin Samuels. People do change though. You can't control what people do. People going to drastically change on their own. You know, you can't control what somebody else does. You know, I've been in a relationship, a couple relationships in my lifetime. And, you know, women, the women changed up, you know. At first, when we started talking, everything was all good. We was laughing, having a good time, spending quality time with each other. Then, bam. As time goes by, this person slowly, slowly start acting different and start acting, you know, funny. And it's like, dang, I've been here for you. Why are you acting funny with me? So I'm going to have to disagree with Kevin Samuels on this one. People do change. And sometimes you have no control over 
other people's actions. People going to do what they want to do at the end of the day. That's just what it is. No, no. Man, come, on now. come on, hold on. Man, and what? here's the funny thing. You can be right. And it sounds real empowering, but your culture doesn't change the fact that this is how kids act. This is why, that's why so many women, especially in our community, have come out and answered, if you do more videos on mother-daughter stuff, this is why so many of our women are fucking unmarried because their mothers aren't married. Mm. And they gotta stay close. Your mama married 27? I'm 28, but yeah, 28. my mom married. Okay, but you know what I'm talking about. And you say you'd rather die alone. Okay, so you saying that you would rather, if you cannot get what you want, now, not entirely what I want. Just not sharing. I'm not doing that. Okay. I'm not. I'm, I don't okay, want to. Okay, that's fine, ma'am. Ma that's fine. But, but the fact. But I want to be clear. Hey, I think Kevin Samuels he into sharing his stuff because it seems like he wants these women to be shared. But I understand his her, blah. Dang, his perspective as in if you got kids, it's like you sharing. If a man is coming in single, like I said earlier in the video. He's single, but you got kids. He's sharing his. You're sharing his. Ah, God dang. Why am I off? You are sharing your time with the woman with kids. Because she has to give her time to her kids to make sure they good and all that. And then she got to give her time to you. You know, so she got to, you know, balance it out. A man is sharing you because you've already had somebody else's kids and that's it. He's going to be, that if he marries you, he'd have a, he'd be a stepfather. So your children are going to be getting some of his money. It's, it's just going to happen. Yes, ma'am. Christmas gifts, birthday presents, Thanksgiving turkey. Ma'am, I've been there on that side before. Y'all need to stop with the bullshit. <laughs> like hey, he's speaking the truth. Some way or somehow they're gonna get the money. And what I want people to understand is how selfish you guys are. You're the most selfish group of women that has ever existed on this fucking planet. Dang, he's speaking on me, 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 me. It's all about you. So how do you get a Bruh, point you. <laughs> that you're in your culture, man? How do you get a culture oh, with so many selfish women? It's not. It, it, unfortunately, not all of them are like that. Um, there's a lot of marriages that are. Man, I'm saying, I, I, no, I ain't even go. I ain't even gonna speak on that. Never mind. <laughs> you know that they had over 30 years old, where they don't they don't say the truth. They are not happy. The women are. I ask happy. you, how do you get a culture with selfish women? How, how do you get a culture with selfish women? I don't know how to. I don't know how to answer that. You I, don't. I, I don't know. I'm not. You I don't. don't. I don't. You know get how chaos. And older women didn't prioritize happiness. That's the problem. Y'all think you're supposed to be happy. Y'all need to grow I, up. It ain't about being happy. Older women, other generations prioritize family, community. They live the selfless life. Modern women are selfish as French toast. <laughs> and I, that's I, why I have no problem telling y'all to kick rocks and die a cold <laughs> death alone. I have no problem telling y'all that because y'all look around and look back at the cultures and the, and the, and the communities and the things that women did before you and the sacrifices and everything else everybody made and they did not do it to have a bunch of selfish entitled women saying, my way on the highway. It's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not, um, if I'm a, a, a good woman, which I was for 15 years, okay. and everything, um, you know, I do have value still. You know, I, I don't I, say you don't have value, ma'am. I'm not saying, I'm, and that's the thing, I'm not saying you don't have value. I'm, I, what I'm ultimately asking is, I don't understand why you guys can not separate the two thoughts. Mm -hmm. You are being shared, ma'am. You have two kids, an ex-husband. Mm -hmm. What the? He just popped up another one. A man Someone. has to take what's left. And he doesn't even, <laughs> and usually if you have two kids, at least they're mine. All the time you're putting into other things, 
that's time you're not investing in me, mm. in mine, that's men true. are territorial. <laughs> this is why men listen to this and they're like, no, no, no. Name of the game is, you know, you got to know what you want. And if you don't get what you want, then, you know, you're going to be single and lonely. It's up to you. But at the same time, you got to factor in other scenarios. <laughs> but I catch y'all later. Peace.